All right. So happy Friday, everybody. I'm going to try to keep today short and sweet, especially for the recording. For those of you who are watching this, it is going to be how to build a landing page on your KB Core slash Bold Trail website. And it's going to be certifications. It's what you're looking at right now. So I'm going to build a landing page from scratch. Hopefully, those of you who are watching this, you're just kind of getting the idea of it. Maybe you don't have all these certifications. Maybe you have different certifications. Um, but I am going to show you how it's going to be a little category on your website. And people can go to it. We'll set up the SEO with it, etc. cetera. Um, those of you who are here, I am going to be putting some links in Zoom chat for you. Um, I'll also be, be putting the pictures, et cetera, that I'm using for today. Um, but if you're watching the recording, all this can be found in the descriptions uh, below. So this will be posted on my YouTube next Monday. I might move a little fast for those of you who are watching live right now. Um, but if you do got any questions, feel free to unmute yourself or you can ask your question in Zoom chat. Okay. So certifications, this landing page. Right now, I do not have a Word document that has all of these images and the wording because if some of you want to build this exact one or if some of you here, you already have some of these certifications, you can email me and I will email you back the images and the wording that I'm going to, that I'm going to use today as I build this. So I'm going to put my email in Zoom chat real quick. Again, that's if you want the content that I'm using today, the pictures and the wording for this certification, just send me an email. You can just subject line certifications and I'll send you back this stuff I'm going to be using. I'll be putting my YouTube channel and everything else in Zoom chat at the end of the recording today. Okay. And KB Core Bold Trail, this is going to work both ways. It doesn't matter which one you have right now. You are going to go to Web and IDX on the left-hand left side. And you're going to look for Pages. Now in Pages, if you've been here, some of you have maybe never been here. This is some of the newer stuff that Bold Trail has. As you can see, I'm in an older KB Core right now. I know Bold Trail has been released with with some of the brokerages or whoever has has bold trail right now, but it's going to work the same way. These are your new landing page templates, but we are not going to be using a template. I'm going to build this one from scratch and it's not going to take long for me to do this. Now in KV core, I'm going to hit create custom page. Okay, whenever you're looking at this, I'm gonna set up the first section right here, and then I'm gonna clone it, clone it, clone it, and input all my information. That'll make sense in a second, but let's get started. So the first thing I need is a title, a divider, an image, and a text block. So title, image, I know I had a divider, so let's grab my divider. Where are you at? Divider. So title, divider, image, and then my text box. And that's paragraph right here. So if you've never seen this before, it's drag and drop. It's very user friendly. So the first thing was a title. I drag and drop that over here. I got my divider, I drag and drop that. I drag and drop my image, and then I drag and drop the paragraph. Now I'm gonna start bringing stuff back and forth. So certifications, put that there. The divider, because we're gonna clone this, because there's more dividers. Do you see how there's not just one divider? To save you time, I kind of like four, give you four or five, maybe a thicker divider than that skinny one. And let's make it all black. So let's click on the color. All right, I like that divider. Now images, images are very easy to upload. Again, email me, I just put my email in Zoom chat if you want these images that I'm using today. So the first one,
click on browse, upload, find your download. And I know I just did this one earlier, so there it is. I can insert it. And then I need my text block for it. Now look, if you have a different certification, by the way, as I make these today, it's not tough for you to maybe get chat GPT and throw your certification in there and ask it for a quick description. Right? So just definitely take the idea of this today. By the way, I muted everybody. If you do have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself. Okay, let me get my wording though, because this is the one for the MRP. So let's copy that. And I want to bold my headline. Maybe I'll underline it too. Okay, now everything looks good for my first part. Now I'm going to start cloning. So remember my divider? If I click on it, there's a trash can and there's a clone button. So let's get a new divider. Let's click on these arrows right here. Let's bring it down. And it's a rinse and repeat of the image and then this text block, image text block. So I'm gonna even clone my image if I want. And I can drag my image down below my divider and I could clone my text block and I can bring that below it. And my next one that I was gonna add was this. So let's go ahead and get that one in here. And I can click on this image. You got to click on the actual image if you're trying to change it. You see how if I click on the text block on the right-hand side, it doesn't say anything about uploading an image or changing one. You got to actually click on the image to get this stuff to show up. And I want to change my image. Let's upload my new one. Insert. Now, if it's a little big too, you can always click on it <clears throat> and you see this auto with click that. And now you can mess with it a little. So eh, maybe around there looks, looks nice. And I'll get the new one. And fix your spacing. If you're copying and pasting from somewhere, by the way, or if you're doing this on AI, if you're bringing it over, just fix your spacing after. I'm going to bold it and underline it. Okay, now I'm going to clone my divider again. I'm going to clone my picture again. I'm going to clone my wording again. You don't have to do it that way, how I'm showing you. I feel like it's a lot quicker whenever you're kind of doing the similar thing for each section, just cloning and bringing it down because... I could be dragging new ones over, right? The paragraph, oh, drag the new image. But I mean, I find it easy just to hit clone and, and reset it back up. Okay, so let's switch this up, right? The third one, we got ABR for that. All right, changing that image out. Okay, and see if that one's small because remember this one, I changed the image of that. So be careful if you are cloning and adjusting it, you might wanna make that one a little bigger. Maybe I'll match it. There, yeah, with the MRP, make that look the same. All right, and I think we got one more on here. A couple more, okay, almost there. And clone it. Clone it. Clone it. And look, I mean, I've done this a lot, but if you if you if you get uh, familiar doing this on a landing page, this is the same with emails, with the advanced editor making emails in KV Core Bold Trail. This drag and drop feature that I'm doing. Okay, new image.
Comes out way too big. Remember, we can adjust our size, right? So let's just get it around there. The other one. Fixing all my formatting. Okay, and one more. Let's get our divider. Let's get our picture. Title. Snag this last one. So that was pretty easy just setting up the landing page. I'm going to finish putting this last part and then I'm going to show you how to actually get it on your website. You'll notice that she has resources and certifications is actually on the website. So let me finish this and then I'm going to show you how to put it on the website. Okay, well, it looks like that size looks fine too. Let me just fix the wording. All right, now look, you could do more to this too. I mean, you could even add a call to action if you wanted to bring people to go see what more of this certification is. You could add at the bottom, call me and put all your info if you want. Um, I'm just trying to show you how to make a simple landing page right now for your certifications. So you could obviously add more if you want. You could use different certifications, but this looks ready to go. All I need to do is publish it. So let's talk about publishing a landing page. Before you can save and publish, watch what happens. I'm first just going to save it. It's going to want a few things. So the page title, to let you know what the page title is, for example, I'm on another agent's website. You see it says Jenna's resources. Certifications down here is the title. Jenna's resources is the category. So when I go back over here, the title, if you're doing it like this, I'd be putting certifications. Category. If you have never made a category, which are these up here, search, sell, misc, local, Jenna's resources, these are created by her. You can make a category. So if you don't have one already, you can hit add new category. My advice would be to put your name with resources at the end or something like that. Um, I'll just put my resources for this. But you could easily put your name and then resources after. And hit enter. Okay, you're ignoring URL link. URL link is if you're trying to bring them somewhere else. You're not trying to bring them somewhere else. You're trying to bring them to your certifications page. All right? So leave that blank. Now, this is all stuff that helps your SEO, Google. Uh, it, scans your, it scans websites every single day, and it's ranking your page. Um, meta tag description and meta keywords. If you want, I'm going to put these in Zoom chat really fast. So those of you who are here, you can save those. But I'm also going to have these at the bottom of the recording um, on YouTube in the description. So you'll find the meta tag description and keywords I'm going to use there. Give me one second. I'll put them in Zoom chat right now for you all. So this first one that I'm doing is gonna be your description. And if you're looking at that description, I would change your certifications. If you're using different certifications for your landing page, just change it out. The keywords, same thing, bottom of the recording or in Zoom chat. <clears throat> And I would replace the keywords with the certifications that you're actually using. So if you're not using some of those, just delete it before you put them in here and put the actual certifications that you're using. You can ignore the RSS property feed and I'm double checking myself, certifications, my title, I made a new category. 
And I got my description, I got my keywords, let's hit save. Okay, and now save successfully. I'm gonna hit publish now at the top right. Now this is where it gets tricky and in KV core slash bold trail, it's always a little annoying sometimes with the website when you're updating it. Um, everyone might be a little different because if you've done edits to your website in the past, um, this might not be showing up as a category. Um, if you've never done anything before, it should be, but just follow along. If you created your landing page in order to make it show up, on your website, and I put my resources. So we're gonna wanna see my resources as the category, and then we wanna see certifications below that. So to make this happen on your website, get out of your landing page. Remember, we saved it and we published it already. On the left-hand side, website. So we're gonna go back here but you're gonna to go to edit settings. Scroll down to categories. I guess you could go to custom navigation. I think that's it. Yeah, just click on custom navigation on the left-hand side. Custom page links. Does everyone see how it says my resources? Again, if you've done stuff in the past, you're, you might have things showing up right here. But if you created a new category like I just did, and I called it my resources, you should be finding it right here. Select it and hit save. Let's give it a second. Okay, it's saved. Now let's go to this agent's website. So if you've never even been to your website before, a quick way to get there, top right and just click on this globe. It's always a fast way. Does everybody see at the top right how she has my resources? And if I bring my mouse over it, there's certifications. If I click on it, now we can look at it. So maybe as I go through this, I did wanna add some stuff. Maybe this is too small. I looked at it on a mobile phone too, and it's just, I wanna make the wording bigger. Maybe I wanna add a few things. It's real easy to edit this. So going back and editing just to try to get it right how you want it. Back in KV Core. Remember, we already saved this. So I can just go back to website on the left. And you'll see custom pages. So view and edit on custom pages. And you should find your certifications page. You're seeing this because she's made other ones, but you should definitely see the one that you just created. And there's an edit button. So if there is something that you messed up on whenever you're viewing it on the website, on your website, you can just go back here. Uh, maybe I do wanna make this all bigger. So I'll put that like 16, 16. I'll just make them all 16. and I need to save it. I don't need to publish it again, it's still published. So all I did is make an edit to a pre-existing landing page. So if I go back over here and hit refresh, the words should get bigger, which they did. They got slightly bigger. I just put it up two, two font size. Um, but definitely pretty cool right here. How to, how to add a landing page. I feel like everybody's got some certifications. This does not hurt to add to your website. Uh, truthfully, this should probably take you no more than 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to make this. Um, and hopefully it teaches you how to make other landing pages moving forward. All right. You want to know where I would start for you? And if anyone else is kind of new to KV Core, they, yeah. have, they have this really sweet, uh, let me make this bigger. See support and training at the bottom left. Let's see courses yeah agent quick start uh-huh now yeah. everyone's different though i don't know what brokerage you're with but you should be able to get here the same way from kv core you should be able to go to the bottom it might be worded different for you but you you end up over here um 
these little quick starts, they have more guides just to get mm -hmm. you familiar with KB Core. These are not right. bad to do. It shows you how to set up your profile. It shows you how to set up those default campaigns, just getting familiar with that, getting familiar with calls, tasks. It's not a bad, bad little free course to take for KB Core. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. I have. Yeah, they they show up here. Perfect. Yeah. Start with those. And there's more too. There's I mean them there's not everything, but definitely something to get you started. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start putting our links in Zoom chat, though. Um, this will be posted next Monday. So if you do have any questions,